Did they just turn this over to us? Yeah. Oh, this is the best What's... thing ever. <laughs> hi, hi. I've got a bucket of balls. I do, I do as well. Justin Bieber is here. All right. Toast. Oh, you don't have balls. Prost. Oh. Prost. Prost? Prost. I have blue balls. <laughs> Who has balls? Everyone. Balls. Now, I'm not altogether sure what these balls are for, but I think we're going to find out these here These have in a few to do minutes. with the trivia. They do have to do All with the trivia. All we know is that we have a minimum of five balls. A minimum of five balls. I need more. They can grow, but we have more? a minimum of five. I'm kind of scared. Five. I'm kind of scared. And now we're bringing in something to blow into. Microphone for you. Whoa. Oh, Hooray. That's really creepy. You want to give me a microphone? I guess you do. It's for you to blow your own horn when you know the answer. Okay, so. This is the horn tutor? What I'm not quite getting about the horn thing yeah. is what if we blow simultaneously? I don't want that one. That one goes limp. <laughs> yeah, give that one to Betsy. You just hit me with your If we sparkle. blow simultaneously, I win. Oh, right. That's mine. That's totally oh, mine. Look at that. Man, tube in my mouth. <laughs> Emily's actually has a built-in breathalyzer tester. Yeah, I want that one. Wow, mine mine sucks. Mine's crooked. What if I can't blow So's mine. mine. <laughs> I just thought I'd put that out there. Here you go. Take that one. It's better. Okay. Yay. All right. Were these quality tested? Great. Turn some more just lights now. on. Yeah. Just now? Balls down. That's how we roll. Previous yeah. to this, they've not been unsealed. No. Okay. What about the questions? Oh, look. Answers. Oh, those are only how ones. dare you, sir? What? There's no cheating here. How dare you? I thought I was announcing it. Did I have to actually answer You're questions? You're playing. You have to answer oh, I'm screwed. No. You are. You want to take the microphone? Play against me. Yeah. I'm probably, okay. I'm handing this over to Quizmaster Polly. <laughs> Hello, that's me, Quizmaster Polly. So we're going to play a trivia game like we do in bars all over Portland because there's nothing that people in Portland like better than to drink and learn at the same time, and that's what we do with trivia games. So we've kind of... Uh, figured out a way to make this a little more like a game show with you guys. So, the way this is going to work, Dave is coming up here. He's got some cool stuff going on, too, so we'll get to it. Hey, Basically, it's all going to be some um, Portland trivia, so it's all about Portland. We'll see how much you guys know about Portland. Are any of you Portland natives? Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> A-T-L-A-N-T-A. This will be interesting. So, maybe people in the audience could um, help. I don't know. You could shout out an answer if you know it. What the heck? Let's see if they can get some. You guys can get a little help there. Are we all in the shot? <laughs> Portland, the yeah, musical. Are we, are we even all in the shot? Yes. Are we all in the shot? Oh, slide yeah. over. Oh, okay. Robert Wagner, get in the shot. Right. Slide hey, on over. Betsy, can you slide over a little bit? Okay, so okay. let me start a little bit with what we're doing here. So you all have a bucket with balls, right? Yes. 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 You should have five balls apiece, correct? Yes. Okay, what will happen is I will read a question. If you know the answer to that question, blow your horn. Let's hear it. All right, and then it will be up to me to determine who has blown their horn first. There will be no fighting about that. That's why I'm wearing the referee costume, okay? Uh, okay. So I get the final say on who gets to... Um, what if somebody blows their horn and they get it incorrect? Then they will lose a ball. Oh. Oh. So if you blow your horn Emily, and you're wrong... Could you just wait for her to give the instructions, please? I was curious. <laughs> you're jumping ahead. So blow your horn if you know the answer. I will call on you, whoever that person was that I heard loudest. And um, when I call on you, then you will say the answer to the question. If you're right, then I will give you a ball, another ball. If you're wrong, I will take your ball. Oh. If you're wrong, and then someone else beeps in after or buzzes in after, I will give them your ball if they get it right. Okay? Hey. Got it? Clear as mud. So the bottom line <laughs> is, if you're right, you get more balls? If you're right, you get yes. more balls. That's like right. That. That's the way the game works. All right. And then your balls will take you into our physical this round. This is just like life. It is. Exactly. This will take you into the um, physical round that we have here where your bucket of balls, you will try and make points out of these. So we're going to do two points for red, one point for blue, and five points if you can get in the clear cup at the back. All right. And you have to bounce the ball as if it were a quarter. So all those years in college playing quarters may finally pay off. All right? Oof. And then the two people that have the most balls at the end of that will, in fact, get to take a final face-off with one or two questions. And we'll see who gets to win the golden crown. Okay? All right. Are we ready to roll, Dave? Yeah? Should we go? All right. All right. So uh, you guys have all been introduced, right? Everybody knows who you are. We're good with there now? No? Should we do that? Who are you? I'm Jay Mackin of Unibash Radio. Better not. <laughs> I'm Emily Gibson. Better okay. Not. My name is Robert Wagner. There we go. I'm Jay Mackin of Unibash Radio. I am Z, Emily Gibson, a.k.a. Justin Bieber. 
And I'm Betsy Richter, better known as Redoing Media, the show that we don't really seem to have our new show up anytime soon. All right. So, yeah. All right, I hear music. Does that mean it's time to start? I wonder what Alex Trebek is doing right now. All right, here we go. Let's get started with the questions before you guys get antsy. Okay, here we go. Number one, located here in Portland, Oregon, and touted as the world's smallest park, this park was dedicated on St. Patrick. Oh, Bill's in. Yes, all right. Emily Give Gibson, Give ball. take a ball, please. Yes. All right, next question. This food cart has items on the menu such as the gut bomb. Oh, Emily Gibson. Big ass sandwiches. Big ass sandwiches is correct. She gets another Whoa. ball. There you go. Look at Emily coming out of the coming out of the shoot well. Number three. What team is set to move into the ranks of pro Robert? I didn't even blow. Oh, Jay. <laughs> the Timbers. The Timbers is correct. Yes. Here we go. Betsy, you're not doing well. I know. All right, Betsy, everybody. What park is the highest point in Portland? Robert. Mount Tabor. Oh, I'm going to have to take one of your balls. Anybody else? Betsy. Council Chorus. Yes, yes, Betsy. Very nice, very nice. All right. In 1888, local brewer Henry Weinhardt volunteered, volunteered to pump beer from his brewery into what newly dedicated landmark? Jay? Uh, the fountain. What's the fountain called? Oh, oh I got to take your ball for that one. Oh, Not just the fountain. That would be Skidmore Fountain. That's right, Betsy. Nice job. Darn it. Robert, you're kind of quiet over Betsy there. Betsy for the steal. <laughs> All right, number five. This company is Portland's largest employer. <gasps> Emily. Nike. Oh, I'm going to have to Damn take it. back one of those balls. Anybody else? Ball down. Robert. Tektronix. Oh. Betsy. Columbia. Oh, Jay. <laughs> it is Intel. That I is correct. It. it was Intel. I thought it was Walmart. <laughs> They're not Portland. Thankfully not. All right. What street forms the boundary between Northeast and North Portland? Jay. You didn't blow? Who blew? Yeah, you did. Emily. All right, Emily, what's the answer? I didn't blow. You didn't? I saw a horn. Oh, that was you. It wasn't me. It was you. <laughs> Come on, Emily. What was the question? <laughs> what street forms the boundary between Northeast and North Portland? Fremont. Oh, incorrect. No. I didn't blow, though. Anybody else? I think I know, but I don't want to risk it. No? Betsy? I can't afford to lose any more balls. No? MLK. It is not MLK, I'm sorry. I took one for the team. Not interstate. Anybody else know? He blew his horn, he blew his horn. You have to answer. You have to no. answer. You no, have to answer. not Alberta. To Cat, where are you people from again? No. No. It is Williams. Damn. Williams. I almost said. She didn't even know that. How sad, wow. All right. When Asa Lovejoy and Francis Pettigrove tossed a coin to decide the name of the claim of land that was to become Portland, Oregon. What name lost the coin? <laughs> Jay. Boston. Yeah, nice. Oh, look at that, we have sound now. <laughs> All right, uh, number nine. What is the name of the decommissioned submarine who calls the banks of the Willamette, Willamette River and Omsi home? What is the name of the decommissioned submarine who calls the banks of the Willamette River and Omsi home? If you've ever been to OMSI, Jay. Blueback? Blueback is correct, yes. Thank you, Pioneer there. Square, for <laughs> assisting Jay in that answer. All right. You gotta be on your toes, Polly. And the final question, what movie did the USS Blueback appear in? Jay. On for Red October. That's right, again. All right, that's the end of this round. How many balls do you all have, Robert? Five, eight. How many? 17. Three. Three. Robert has three. Jay? Eight. Eight. Emily? Five. 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 Okay. Crap. So, the way this is going to work, Dave, are you going to score for me? We'll just keep going. All right. So, the way this is going to work, you're going to bend down here, you're going to take your balls, and you're going to bounce one just like this. Bouncing okay. balls. Bouncing balls. Ready? Here we go. 
Oh, that's no points. Oh, this is like the carny. It is, kind of like a carnival game. Hey, you know, we usually play this in bars, so keep that in mind. Yay! Yay! Oh, Whoop. So we're going to bounce at that star, right? Yes. All okay. Right. Betsy, I'm going to nominate you. Bounce at the first. star. Oh, no. Bounce it in, and you get one point for blue, two points for red, and five if you hit the clear cup. Okay? Oh, that's Oh, no. Ball shot. down. Catch Ball em. down. We're going to need those. There's one. Oh. There's two. All right, four points for you. All right, she's got four. We're going to see who's going to go into our final playoff here. So that's Emily four points. Emily? All right. Four. All right, Emily. All right. Four. Ooh, ball down. That's five. Seven. Nine. Yes. Nine. Nine points for Miss Emily Gibson. Wow. I'm good Look at balls. that. What's the clear one worth? The surprising lead. That is worth five points. Okay. If you can get it in there. It's a little tough, but maybe this will be where you redeem yourself. Definitely. Oh. All right, there's one. Three. Oh. Oh, bounce out. Slippery balls. All right, that's four. Five. Six. So oh, seven. Seven points. Is that all you got? Yeah, all right, seven points for Jay. I'm already out. How many balls do you have? Three. Three. In your bucket, Robert. How many balls are you have? A try ball. Three. Three balls. All right, you get three tries. I hear things coming from the tent. Two, three. Oh! oh nicely done, nice sir. Done. That is eight points for the Roberts. All right, eight points. So, Dave, who does that leave in the win? Yes, Emily with nine. Robert, all right. You may be sorry. Okay, bye. Thank you, Betsy. Thank you, Jay. See, Nicely I planned played. this the whole time. I planned it the whole time. You planned it the whole time. Yeah, I was going for 15 points, but I didn't want to make everybody look really bad. Yeah. Whatever, I still had more points than you. All right, you guys can have a seat at this point if you'd like. We're done with the All blowers. Right. All right, then. And the balls. I don't and need the my balls. Ball We're done anymore. with the balls? No, no, they're going to... No, we need more balls. That's right. Who doesn't? Oh, there's a whole other round. <laughs> there's a final round. There's a final round. This is where it gets serious, so we'll see. All right. Now I'm, like, multitasking. Don't look off my paper. It's not paper. It's plastic. Don't look off my plastic. I won't, because you'll be wrong. All right. You can you'll tell them the rules for the final. All right, so this is the way it's going to work. It's, uh, I've got questions for you. The questions are going to get more difficult. First two questions are worth one ball. Next two questions will be worth three balls. And the final question will be a question where you must list all the items in a group that you can within a two minute period, okay? So you're all gonna right. try and figure out how many of the things that I asked for you can give me in two minutes. Is there a so deduction when you, if we get them wrong? Is there a what? A deduction if we get them wrong. No, it's just a matter of seeing who can get the most balls by the end of the game, okay? All Do right. I need to write right away? No. When I ask you a question, then you're going to write it down on the, an on the answer board, okay? Okay. And then when I ask you to tell me your answer, hold it up so everybody can see what your answer is. Okay. 30 okay? seconds. Okay? 30 seconds. We'll give you a minute if you need it. All right. Okay. The first question. In December of what year did the Portland Aerial Tram begin its operational phase, thus opening only for OHSU employees and students? What year was that? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm asking for the year, not the month, Emily. <laughs> oh. I already said it was December, well, so March would not be correct. <laughs> would you like to try for a year? Yes, I would. I'm going to go with... Oh, 
the answer is 2006. Oh, 2006. Do I get close. points for being close? Should we give him a point for I being one year old? No. Should we give him a ball? No. Dave's harder than I am. Okay, next question. With its center in southeast Portland and including at least 32 cinder cones, such as Mount Tabor, Portland lies on top of an extinct volcano field known as what? Do you know this one, Betsy? No? This is a really tough one. Anybody out there know it? The extinct volcanic field that we lie on top of here in Portland? No? Boring Lava Field is correct, Emily, for the win. Yeah, look at that. Emily gets a ball. I'm impressed with Emily's knowledge. Damn. Look at that. Shooting ahead is the smart kid tonight. Very nice. <laughs> was t how did you cheat? <laughs> she didn't cheat. She's very gifted I know in Portland. All knowledge. She's special. She is, yes. She's a special girl. All right. In 1859, Oregon became a member of the union. What number did it join the union as? What was the number? Is it like one out of 50? It would be one out of 50, yes. We have 50 states, so. Just making sure. Thirty-third. Oh. Emily, so close. Yeah. Look at that. Damn. Robert, try harder. It doesn't matter. I'll win with the ball thing. That's true. You did very well there. Yeah, I answered nothing correct. You did very well. You That's true. You haven't answered any correct questions. No. <laughs> That's the great thing about trivia. I'm, Sometimes you get something like this that, that will save your ass and make you the winner. I'm you gifted with ball. balls. But at this, point, ball shoot, at this point, she's a ball ahead. You have to have a ball to shoot. Oh, yeah. you suck. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, here we go. A series about modern day Robin Hoods and currently filming in its third season, this series is actually set in Boston. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> A series about modern day Robin Hoods and currently filming in its third season, this series is ironically set in Boston. But I already won. Well, let her have a Not chance to answer. Yet. I, what's the fucking name of it? You both get a chance to X -Files. answer. The Smurfs. Leverage. Oh, you both get a ball. Ha. All right, one for each Hail of you. Here we proud. go. Two to one now. Okay, let's see. Portland's early leaders took a big step forward when they promoted Portland's Lewis and Clark Exposition and World's Fair, which attracted over three million visitors in what year? ballpark decade <laughs> it was in the 1900s <laughs> that's a that's a century okay i'll give you a hint since you're doing so terribly badly um let's see it was between the years of 1900 and 1910 he scratches his answer out <laughs> 1905 yeah. no ah. it was the same year that oaks park amusement park opened i knew that part man all right, I'm going to do a couple of movie questions here. This movie from 1952 follows two men with questionable past as they lead a wagon train load of homesteaders from Missouri to the Oregon Territory. And once settled and established, they must rescue the winter supplies that are being held in Portland by corrupt officials. Does anybody out there know that one? Help. No? Help. Help? Nobody's got help? No? <laughs> Not chocolate rain, I'm sorry. It was not Oregon Trail, Emily. Told you it was going to get tough in the final round. Not Landfield. Jimmy Stewart was in it. Not Showgirls, but nice guess. Not The Searchers. No. Oh. Bend in the River. What? Smoke over water? Yes. Something like that. Fire in the sky. Okay. Lucy in the sky with diamonds? Here's one you might know. This Gus Van Zandt... <laughs> Dave's getting a little buzzy over there. This Gus Van Zandt film from 1991 tells the story of two best friends living on the streets of Portland as hustlers. Uh, I hear answers coming from the tent. What was the answer? <laughs> Did you hear that, Emily? Don Ho is what they're yelling. Don I think they're yelling Ho. Don Ho. Don Ho. For Hawaii Five-0? Hawaii Five-0. All right, Emily. Let's do this thing. 
Justin Bieber Boondock is not Saints. the answer. It is not. What does that say? Boondock Saints. Boondock Saints is not correct. It is my own private Idaho. Correct. It was right. Boondock Saints too. I've never seen Whoop. that. I dropped your ball. Here you go. I was only born in '85. Drop oh, on. another one. Well, you suck at this game. How come you get multiple? That's why I get to ask the questions. <laughs> How many do you have? How many do you have? Eight. Okay. I have two. You have two. Name the 16,000 square foot mansion with 44 rooms located in Portland's West Hills. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Robert. You got it, both of you. That's right. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Bounded by Southwest Curry and Gain Streets and Moody and Bond Avenues, Portland's newest park will have an official dedication August 19th. What is the name of that park? Yes. Question mark? Yes. How about you, Emily? Do you have a, a crazy answer? Question mark park. Answer? Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Laurelhurst. No, it's Elizabeth Crothers Park. Oh. She's named for the uh, first single pioneer woman settler in Oregon. Oh, Thank you. Yes, the middle finger. I get that a lot in this uh, game. It's quite awesome. Can we have some easier questions? All right, here's what we're going to do. Another round. Bonus round. We're doing so horribly. We're going to have you guys play with the balls again, I think, since Robert obviously needs some help in something other than trivia. He seems oh. to be good at... Ouch. That hurts. I'm sorry. No, right I'm not. Right here. I know. Or there. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Name as many streets in Portland named after Simpsons characters as you can. Oh, God. Ready? Go. What do you think, guys? You know, there are 39 of them. Okay. So if you thought two was really great. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the things that people right. know right, about The up. Simpsons. Jesus, how many do you have? Wow, Emily has a I'm lot. I'm not sure if they're all right. I just got so much of streets. <laughs> okay. I think of any. Are you ready? All right. Yeah. Arnold. No. Should we just tell you our answer? Oh, yeah. Read yours off. Love Robert. Joy. Okay, Emily. Oh, Love Joy. <laughs> Love Joy is correct. That's Kearney. one. Kearney. Kearney is correct. That's two. Quimby. Quimby is correct. Three. Terwilliger. Stop right. Terwilliger is you correct. Four. 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 Answers. Four. Put your answers. pen down. Van Housen. Van Housen is correct. Flanders. Flanders is correct. Cooch. No, that's incorrect. Hooker. Ah. What? Hooker. Hooker? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a street in Portland called Hooker? Yeah. Yes. Apparently, they did not name a Simpsons character after it. Uh, Mount Spring. No, incorrect. Belmont. Incorrect. And... Shh. <laughs> I can't read my writing. Can you come back to me? I gotta, re I gotta figure out what it is. This one. Rudy? Okay, so how many did you have correct there? Was that one, one two, two three. three, four, five, six? Well, she six. Has, she has more correct than I even have listed. All right, well, let's hear what you got. Burnside. Correct. Davis. No. Jefferson. Correct. Lincoln. No. <laughs> Cooch. No, why did you both pick Cooch? Lovejoy. <laughs> That's the best trick. Kearney, ever. Quimby. No. <laughs> Is that all you had was the one? I had two. Two. Okay. So you Davis got two. Is my other one. 
Davis. Davis is not, no. Okay. I got five. You got two. Five against two. That means you get another ball. All right. There we go. I only get one ball. I don't get five balls. No. <laughs> Just one. What? I know. What a tough question, right? That sucks. There are 39 of them, and I had a lot of uh, research to do to figure out what those were. They were kind of crazy. Okay. Do you want me to read them all off? All right. Here we go. They are Arnold, Bancroft, Buddington, Burnside, Cecilia, Clay, Dolph, Ellis, Eugene, Evelyn, Evergreen, Evergreen, Terrace. Nobody got that one. That's where the Simpsons live. Oh. Fisk, Flanders, Grant, Hodge, Holman, Hurst, Kearney, Lombard, Lovejoy, Lucille, Montgomery, Morgan, Powell, Powers, Quimby, Rex, Seymour, Simpson, Sherman, Stanton, Swift, Taylor, Terry, Terwilliger, Thompson, Troy, Van Hooten, Wayland, and Wilson. Damn it. I know. Someone actually made a database of that. That's all the Simpsons characters that have ever existed throughout time. I just wish I would have got five balls. You think you deserve more balls for that question? No. Six. I got six right. You got two. I should have got six Okay. Balls. List for me all of the bridges in Portland. Done. Still more time, shut up. Done. We'll shut give up. him 30 seconds. Time's ticking, Robert. <laughs> it's audibly ah! ticking now. That helps, doesn't it? No. It's always easier to concentrate when you can hear the clock ticking behind you, I think. Kind of like the sound of 30 hour day, right? Stop talking! You all are brutally aware of the clock in this uh, endeavor, correct? Watching it run down. <laughs> all right, I guess that means time's up. Okay, Emily, read off your answers. Steele. Yes. Fremont. Yes. Broadway. Yes. Selwood. Yes. Ross Island. Yes. Hawthorne. Yes. Morrison. Yep. 405. It's not called the 405. <laughs> oh, I didn't know the name of that one. But so how many that? were those? One, you had all but three, one. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, correct. Nice. Okay, Robert. Shit. <laughs> Hawthorne, Steel, Broadway, Fremont, Ross Island, and St. John's. You've got them, but how many did you have? 18. Six. Six, and you had? Seven. All right, Emily again. Look at that. Emily's going to win this game. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that would happen? Don't you bat me. And what is it on your board, Robert? What does what that say? It, oh, it's a penis. Oh, pee -pee. It was encouragement. Pee -pee. All right, tell me which one of those bridges is the oldest. Do we have to write it? Yes, uh, write it down. Which one of those bridges is the oldest? What does that say? Steel. Neither of those is correct. Take uh -oh. another chance. Does so anybody out there know which one it is? It's not the Selwood Bridge. No? One more try and then I'm going to call it in. I take Burnside. <laughs> it is not Burnside. Damn it. Not the Ross Island, no. Anybody else know? Uh, Morrison, Morrison, Morrison. No, it's actually the Hawthorne Bridge, oh, shit, which was built in 1910. What is that? We yep, the Hawthorne Bridge. We guessed every Did bridge somebody get that right out there? Sucked. Somebody know it was the Hawthorne? Nice job. All right, Kelly for the win out there. <laughs> okay, so they go like this. Selwood Bridge was 1925, Markham in 1966, Ross Island, 1926, Hawthorne, 1910, Morrison, 1958, Burnside, 1926, Steel Bridge, 1912, Broadway Bridge, 1913, the St. John's Bridge, 1931, the Fremont Bridge, 1973, the Interstate Bridge, 1917, and the Glen Jackson Memorial Bridge in 1982. That is balls. all the bridges in Portland and all you'd ever want to know about them. All right. Okay. How many balls do you have, Emily? Five. Five. How many do you have? Three. 
Three. Let's do it again. You go first. I went first last time. No, you time. go first. You're first over here. You have time. to go first. I went first last time. Polly. I went first last time. Robert, you have to go first. Oh, you suck. Suck it. <laughs> Emily's ahead, so she should get the right say here. Damn. That's two. Three. Oh, five points. Very nice. Damn it. I hope I don't miss my balls. He may not be good at trivia, but he's good with his balls. That's what really matters, right? Again with the tent noise. I don't know what's up with that. All right, Emily, you got a lot more chances to make it. Two. Three. Four. So that is two, four, five, six points. Robert, how many did you have there? Three? No, five. 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 Seven to five. Okay. The word of the day is Chief Tane. I have one final question for you. Ready? Okay. Running daily from 6 a.m. till 11 p.m., the Benson Bubblers are Portland's iconic drinking fountains. The city currently boasts how many of the Benson Bubbler fountains? Write it down on your board. Whoever comes closest. But I already won, right? <laughs> <laughs> My board is down there, jerk. What was the question? How many Benson bubblers are there in the city? Fountains, to be specific. Fountains. Can I change my answer? No. Sure. No. It's no fair. How many Benson fountains? There's a difference. Really? That's your answer? In the whole city, it's much higher than that. I'm closer, though. No, come on. It's a two-digit number. <laughs> Am I closer? Not really. <laughs> Emily? You're, okay, so the correct answer is 52 fountains. 25. 52. She's got 25. That means Emily's winning. Yeah, she's clearly in the lead tonight. That means we're going to put a crown on her head. Emily? Yes. Ding, ding. There Thank you go. You. Nicely Thank done. You. Emily wins the trivia challenge. It's over? <laughs> Emily finally gets to be the smart kid. I think we're done. Yeah, we, we ran a little uh, quick there. What do we got? All right. Well, we just want to say uh, real quickly here that the whole reason we're here is the 30-hour day. You guys who are watching out there on the interwebs, please remember to hit the Donate Now button. Uh, that is why we're here. We're here for some good causes. The folks here at PDX-FM has put together, uh, uh, helped out here with all the guys doing this as well, and uh, they'll be here tomorrow morning. We will be. A because you are going to be staying up to 30 hours, right? We are. That's what's happening. 96 hours, actually. <laughs> this is just a small part of our day. I see that. I see that. All righty. All right. What are we going to do? How much time do we have left, Dave? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Wow. Do you have more questions for us? I don't. We burned through all the questions. Let's have a staring contest. I've done that before in my uh, regular bar trivia well, we rounds. Take off the glasses. Off. We're going to have a staring contest. Can you zoom in on them so we can see who blinks? I'm going to stand behind Wait, you what? and blow in your eyes. It's a staring gonna contest. What? I'm going to blow in your eyes. Can't we just play with the balls more? No. That it's time sucks. for a stare down. Are you ready? No. Wait. All right. Blink it off a little bit. Get it out of your system. Shake your heads. That helps sometimes. <laughs> Loosen up your eyes. Look at that. He's loosening up his eyes. Okay. Are you ready? Wait. Do we look at each other or you? Got to look right at each other. Okay. Got to get that hair out of the way so I can see those okay, ready? eyes. Ready? Okay. Ready? Hang on. Ready, go. Let's tuck it in. There we go. See if you can take her crown with the stare down. You ready? Okay, go. You can't roll your eyes around. Why not? She blinked. That was very fast. You know, I did that in a bar one night, and a guy, one at a time, stared down 12 people, one after the other, and he had his eyes open for, like, I swear, four minutes. Drugs. Stop. Yeah, it must have been. I don't know. Can I challenge you to a ball off? Yes. Best of 10 balls. Let's do that. Best of what? Ten Best balls. of 10 balls. 
All right, do that. There you go. Take the bucket. Are you having trouble counting your balls? I'm going to secretly give you another one. There you go. <laughs> You're so cocky now. Did you work as a carnival worker once? Uh-oh. There are ping pong balls flying all over Pioneer Square. The old carny intuition is coming back to play. All right, so let's count them up. Reds are two. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12 points. Nicely done. All right, here we go. You know what? Let's leave them in there. That'll make it more interesting. No. Oh, yeah, then we won't know who's who's, who's will we? All right, get your balls out of the cup, please. Where's Jay Mackin? That's just not right. <laughs> Emily, how many you got? I think we Come need on, to, Jay. We need to uh, do a one trivia question for somebody out in the audience to see if they can come up and take out the balls champion here. Oh, yeah. Who, who out there in the audience thinks they can take the ball champion out here? Anybody out there? Anybody? Yeah? Anybody out there better good with ping with pong balls? balls out there? Come yeah? on now. It's got to be somebody be this late at night out in Pioneer Square. <laughs> Emily. Emily, not a good showing after wearing the golden crown. I'm surprised. 11. 11. 11 to his 12. She's still one. Jay, do you want to take another shot? And then I crapped in her car. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just a little. So, what are you guys uh, doing tomorrow away. morning? What are you? Is it the morning submission show? And then what happens? Get your microphone. Pick it up. Let's talk. Emily, sit down. One. Jay, I'm used to sitting and talking with you people. Hello. It's such a fine evening. All the rain has finally gone away here in Portland's own living room. Yes, it is. We have a tent pitched over there in the corner. What was the question? How many single bowl variations of the Benson Bubblers are there? Single bowl? Yes. 26. Nothing in Portland takes one bowl. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Actually, you know, the Benson family asked that the installation of the four bowl fountains be limited to certain downtown boundaries so as not to diminish the uniqueness of them. So the single bowl varieties are in different areas than the main fountains. 16. No, it's much higher than that. 36. Robert? 46. Jay? 51. 74. Holy. What? Isn't that crazy? I didn't know there were that many fountains, you guys. That's crazy. Apparently, you didn't know how many fountains there There's were. There's two right. right here in the square. There's one right there and one over there. Do you remember what street forms the boundary between Northeast and North Portland? Williams. Williams. Hey, look at that. We should have done this before we played. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, I, there's a question so, I didn't ask you. This statue on the west side of the Portland building is Portlandia. the second large. Did you know the answer, really? Now, now you come up with the answers after all that time? That's on the west side of the big pink? It's on the west side. It's the second largest hammered copper statue. Fear cats. Oh, that away. That's right. All right, I'm out of trivia questions. That is amazing. Though, I know. Because that's yeah. like what you do. That is what I do. I spend a lot of time writing these questions. And, uh, How can you be out? Great. How can I be out? This is what you do. I have a <laughs> trivia question for you. Okay, let's hear it. What states surround Missouri? Oh, my gosh. Red ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. 
We'll see who can get the most correct. We'll start with Sir Robert. What is the name of the place that we're in right now? Pioneer Square. <laughs> yes. Pioneer Courthouse Square. What is oh. the nickname? What? Tweaker Heaven. Other than no. <laughs> Pio. What is the nickname for Portland Pioneer Square? Portland's New living Square room. Area? Portland's living room. That's right. That's why there's change in the sofa cushions. How many hours are in the day that you're attending right now? Four <laughs> thirty. Ha. Ha. I like the way you can actually get answers correct. Oh, what are the three charities that Fair, we're? Fair Oregon Food Bank and. I got two. Red Cross. Red Cross. Yay. I was, was going to say go. Doc Normal's Pockets, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the charities again? The Red Cross. Pear. Pear. And the Oregon and Food Bank. Oregon the Oregon Food, Food Bank. Bank. Yes. The Oregon Food Bank always needs lots and lots of help. That's for sure. Okay. We got anything else? Yeah. What states surround Missouri? <laughs> Nobody knows that, Emily. But I you know. know. You do it? Nobody Tell cares. us. What states, what states surround Missouri? Give it to us. Illinois. That's it? Kansas. You guys really don't know these? Why would we? I don't know. It's like the most middle state. Not Tennessee. No, Tennessee. No. Kentucky. Kentucky. One starts with an I. Illinois. Indiana. Yes. North Dakota. No, no, no Dakota surround Missouri. Thanks for playing, though. Carolina. Newfoundland, South Carolina. South Carolina, Florida. North Carolina and South Carolina surround Missouri. I don't know. Really? Is that the same? Do you know where? Did, okay, I know West Coast. I know California. East Coast, Canada. And then there's like that that thing in between. No, the correct answers are North Chicago, and South Virginia. Chicago. Yes. What? North and South Boston. Virginia. Boston. Alabama. But South Virginia, yeah. South Virginia. <laughs> uh, Kentucky. East Kentucky. You've said Kentucky three times now. Kansas. Illinois. She's just making Indiana. things up. Are you making things up? We'll never know. I can't verify. All right, what states surround Oregon? Washington, Idaho, California. And Chicago. And That's go. right. And that other one. Don't forget Chicago's Chicago. Not a state. I have a trivia sure it is. I have a trivia question, Polly. According to Pioneer Square, Chicago is Chicago. a state. Yes. What's the best internet radio station in operation today? Air FM. <laughs> PDX.FM. PDX.FM. There's only one answer yes. to that question. And it is the PDX. best internet radio station. You got your ball in the cup. What Thank is you. the cheapest steak you can get at a Portland strip club, and what type of steak is Plus, it? Plus, five dollars. Five dollars Acropolis. Five dollars Acropolis. <laughs> and that comes with the salad bar. Four ninety nine. Uh, I, I hate to tell you that's incorrect, though. Because it's amazing how when you start asking about strip clubs, everybody in town knows the answers, isn't it? <laughs> the answer. I should have had more questions about beer. No, the answer. Wait, is what are the three things that uh, Portland has the most of? Don't you want to know the answer, though? Three ninety five sirloin at Safari. Three ninety nine sirloin at Safari. Three ninety five. Three ninety five. Oh, I bet that's a great cut yeah, of meat. Does it you come get with there. a salad bar? No. Well, see, that's the thing. It comes with the, salad the, bar. the ladies. Wait, what? 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 What was my question? What did I say? I don't know. I got lost in the Emily English over there. Name three Top things three you things. can what with where? Three things that were with the what? What? Yeah, that that one. Do that oh, one. the three things that are the most in Portland. Thank you. Beer. The most of in Portland. <laughs> so they are strip clubs, yes? Yes. Micro Breweries, beer. yes. Beards. And what's the third? Beards. Skinny Parks. Beards. No, it's parks, you dirty birds. It's parks. We also Hipsters. have the most parks. So we need to do a trifecta of fun sometime with all three of those things, don't you think? Parks, parks strippers, and, and breweries. Strippers? Yes. I like that. It's the way to go, right? That might be like what Bacon Fest will be like this We're year. in the late hour now, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we can talk about those things. My watch stopped. That's oh, yeah, good. It's after 10. You can cuss. It's not after okay. 10. It's not after 10. They're going to cut us it, off at it 10. It is after 10 in Chicago. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. <laughs> the great state of the Chicago. The great state of Chicago. <laughs> they call that the windy state, don't they? The windy they? state. It's very windy in that state. The windy state. No, Chicago's a state, not a city. Oh, there's like people over there. So, it's uh, surrounded Bali. by Minneapolis and Missouri. St. Paul. <laughs> No, that's uh, is this. Georgia. This is morning submission. Does geography yeah. right? What? <laughs> North and South Virginia. North and South Virginia. Very nice. Here's the thing, though, Polly. You uh, participate in a lot of taste tests with us on our morning oh, submission show. Oh, yes, I do. And I want to know if you'll be joining us on our special taste test challenge tomorrow morning. It's different live. kinds of wheat. 
<laughs> Live. Different kinds of wheat. Yeah, you'll love to have me for that one since, you know, I have wheat gluten allergies Let's and I am a celiac. So having me come in and eat wheat will be awesome. Yes. No, it's a lot a of chaff. Off. Will we be taping that live on the cameras it's as well? A lot of chaff. Great, you can watch me. Yeah. It's a sauce off. It's a sauce, sauce off. off. Yes. What kind of sauce? We're going to be mixing several. I'm the, wait, sauces. I'm not coming back unless I know what kind of sauce. Uh, several common known sauces. You don't sauces. need to know. Several common known sauces. I, I've heard that one before, Robert. What kind uh, of sauce, Emily? Common sauces, like ranch and ketchup, those kind of things. Random We're, sauces? Semen. Common sauces. Oh, I thought you said, never mind. We're mixing the sauces, and our goal is to guess the two types of sauces that are in the mixture. Oh, it's so it looks like a blind tasting. Yes, yeah, so it's like a sauce. Not a classy one with wine. It's going to be a morning submission style with condiments. Condiments. Right. Condiment tasting. When? What time is that? 8, 8, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. On wow. Saturday morning. Submission. Well, I'm joining Dr. Normal later for Crazy Talk Live until 2.30, so oh. I could sleep for a couple hours and come back. We would like you to be Here there. at 8 a.m.? Yes. Or? No, here's uh, the, plan here's B. Location plan B. B. Okay. Here's plan B, 8 a.m. You're going to taste condiments. No, location B. After you guess three sauces incorrectly, you are then forced to take a shot of a single sauce. Really? Shot yes. sauce. Wow. I don't know about that. We got balls. Sure, I'll be there. Yes. <laughs> this is good. Don't wait for me, though. Oh. <laughs> What are the sauces? Then I'm coming next Thursday, Ranch? and I'm bringing a tasting for you guys. Did you know that? Yes. We heard it was wine. The cheese. It's not going to be wine. And cheese. We have ranch. It's going to be good stuff. Ketchup. We're going to do a real tasting. Dave Mayonnaise. knows. Dave. Dave. Dave knows. A1. Dave knows everything. Dave, Dave knows, knows everything. Portland. What? Dave knows what? Portland. Portland. That's yeah. right. Indeed. Uh, barbecue is the other sauce. Barbecue. Like so three. what are you tasting? Barbecue? <laughs> barbecue. Ketchup. Ketchup. Ranch. Ranch? Mustard, A1, and mayonnaise are the sauces. Oh. That, so, and you're going to mix them together. So mix if you lose, will. you'd have to take technically like a shot of mayonnaise. Or A1. Well, you'll have to check the uh, mayonnaise, the mustard, and the ranch dressing for wheat ingredients. Okay. Oh, they're very weedy. They actually have lots of ingredients in them that can make me sick. Can yes, we check the expiration thing. dates on the sauces? I love talking no. about this, by the way. No? It's a great thing. Right. The great. sauce. What's your favorite sauce? Hmm, my favorite sauce. I like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise or Miracle Whip? Oh, God, not Miracle Whip. No. Miracle Whip. My mom Miracle used to put Miracle Whip on her yeah. chili. Miracle Whip. Ugh. Miracle chili? Whip for the win. Miracle Whip I does suck. Like, take I Miracle agree. Whip, put it in a blender with ice, and drink it. Oh, that's gross. No, it's good. I can just do it by itself. I think you guys need to drink gin and mayonnaise one time Fine. on the morning show. Yeah? For the Tuesday Drunk Mission? We could do that. Gin and mayonnaise. It was on an NPR show. They did that. One of the guys really? is a big uh, mayonnaise connoisseur. Hold it. And he we had don't gin do anything. We don't do anything and that NPR mayonnaise. has already done. Nothing that curdles. You need to drink it. I'm telling you. Gin and mayonnaise. I think it will be the perfect I segment. Accept. Now, how's, how do you mix that? I mean, one part You put gin. it in a blender. Yes. One part gin, one part mayonnaise. You put it in a blender and... Shoop. I almost thought you said one part jizz. No. <laughs> and mayonnaise. mayonnaise and gin. I couldn't do that. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> he has the best job. Doesn't he, though? I know. He gets to sit back here. fart noises? I don't. I just want do. one? Family shoe. Family shoe. <laughs> 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 it's a family shoe. Together? Is that like a turkey fart? shoot? I'm, <laughs> yeah. Like where he just released a family. And a <laughs> it might be in Arkansas. Oh, no. Am I, I'm not really a part of this. My segment's I done. fart. <laughs> Did you hear that? Great, you've ruined the microphone. It, it doesn't matter. We're done for today. Oh, that's right. All right. Dave, you want to take the mic? You want to talk to them? It's should Dave the come worst. back for the tasting as well? Yes, sure. Dave is invited as well. Everyone should taste sauce. I think so, too. He's I think Dave might be the master sauce. taster. 8 o'clock in the morning, taste my sauce. He's got quite the uh, soup catcher going on. I bet that could catch some sauce. I know. Can you imagine that beer filled with <laughs> Are we at time capacity? No, we have five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> More sauce. Dave, I got a whiz. All right. Robert Wagner wow. down. I, I, he's got such a classy exit, really. Rob Wagner's down. Rob Wagner's down. down. Not is far, though. Even oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, so anyways, we're here for the 30-hour day. This is only hour... This feels like 30 hours six right now. Six? Half. Hour six? Hour six. It's only hour six. And we're struggling to fill... any prettier than this. And we're struggling to fill our hour, so you can imagine as this goes how this is going to feel as people are up until four or five o'clock in the morning. Well, we still have to go drink tonight, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to drink after this, for I sure. Mean, we got to make it back here in the morning, but, I mean, our night's just getting started here at PDX.FM. That's right. We you guys, That's right. Pitch. You guys are just getting started, and then you'll be back... 
at 8 a.m. At the crack of 8 a.m. At the crack of 8 a.m. Wow. Um, apparently freebase some sauce. So, apparently. There will be no freebasing. Uh, more of like a bong style. <laughs> How do you freebase ketchup, Jay? You put it on foil and you like I'd like the to see that. <laughs> I will come just to see you freebase ketchup. I'd rather see you freebase horseradish. You need some uh, steel wool and a crack pipe, and it can be done. Oh. And we're in the right place for that. <laughs> if anybody has a, anybody have any steel wool and a crack pipe? They may not really? have the answers to the Portland trivia, Portland but that, trivia. that they've got. <laughs> Bonus points for that. <laughs> Bonus points, no. Just put it in the clear cup. <laughs> <laughs> if you can get, no. Like Robert's doing right now. <laughs> so what nights of the week do you host trivia and where at, Polly? Uh, I host trivia, I think, let's see, I'm Monday nights, I'm down at CC Slaughter's. Ayo, get oh, up for the boy. Gaze. Love the CC Slaughter's, it's a great place to host trivia. It feels like home, I've been there for three, three and a half years now, hosting trivia nights every Monday night. Um, uh, Tuesday night, I'm at the Bitter End Pub, Bitter where End. all the Timbers all the fans Timbers. hang out. Yep, love the Bitter End. And Wednesday night, I'm out in Selwood at the Selwood Public House, which is also a great little venue, full of fun people. Hey, all anybody right. from Selwood? Woohoo! Woo! Anyone from Beavertron? <laughs> Beavertron. Does anyone gotta... know where West Washington County is? Do we have Just... Tiger in the house? <laughs> Tiger in the house. No. No. Is he East Side? St. John's. Dave, Dave, tell him about your anyone. trivia night too. Dave's all also I a do trivia host. Monday nights at Rose and Thistle. You're welcome to come out if you'd like. Do all sorts of bingo nights and stuff all around town too. What? So what? Are we? I think, I think we're off. Are we off? Are we off? Are we still on? We got four minutes according to the clock. So once again, you people out in the internet land, if you want us to get off the stage, you have to go and press that donate now button yes. right yes. now, or donate. else we're just going to stay up here get us out of for here. the next 20 hours, here. and you all are going to be in trouble. So. These, these kids were much faster handling the balls than I thought they were going to be, so <laughs> I really, surprising. I they should have written more, written, written more professionals. tribute. professionals, they are. Oh, we got, oh, balls, we got balls coming from the stage nice. now. Balls down. Very nice. Well, uh -oh. we're PDX out of M. This is... Uh, Pub Quiz USA. Mm -mm. It's Polly and Dave. But Quizmaster Polly, this is Dave, sent by our productions. Check us out. You can add us all PDX on Twitter. PDXFM. Add us all on Twitter. What's your Twitter handle? I'm at E. Gibson Audio. I'm at Unibash Radio. Add Synth Bio. At QM Polly. No, go. really. Uh, Facebook, too. Synth Bio, dude. You guys do some dope events in town. Oh, thank yes, you. he does. We try. We try. Go follow these guys. Fan them. Like them on Facebook. And if you want to see some porn, check out www.pdx.fm. <laughs> lots of porn there. Well, yeah, you iPhones, guys do great stuff. Porns and horns, too, right? So. Porns yes. and horns. All right. I'm going to find the Porta John. It's been real. All righty. Are we out? There are no Porta Johns. Well. <laughs> Emily has left the stage. I think we're down to about two minutes. I don't think any of our mics are even on anymore, are they? I so either. <laughs> I can still hear my, I'm amplified. You're I can on. hear Jay. Oh. I don't know if... Uh, if we're on, can we, someone just pull the plug on the lights and we'll just walk out? Yeah. <laughs> Noogie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for coming out. Don't forget, donate now. Help out the charities. That's why we're really here in the first place okay. anyway. So all we need to do is take two minutes getting off the stage. So just walk very slowly. And I'm not kidding.